Woolly mammoths, Tasmanian tigers, and even the dodo sounds like science fiction? Think again, scientists are on the brink of bringing some extinct creatures back to life. For centuries, extinction has been an irreversible fate. But now, armed with cutting-edge technology and a deep understanding of genetics, humanity stands on the threshold of reversing the ultimate end of species. Join us as we venture into the labs where extinct creatures are finding a second chance at life itself. Imagine a time when colossal beasts roamed the icy plains of the Northern Hemisphere, their massive forms moving gracefully through the snow-covered landscape. These were the woolly mammoths, majestic creatures that once dominated the prehistoric world. Their massive tusks, curving elegantly, cut through the snow as they foraged for food, a sight that must have been both awe-inspiring and terrifying. The woolly mammoth, a creature straight out of a prehistoric world, vanished from the face of the earth thousands of years ago. Their disappearance marked the end of an era leaving behind only bones and frozen carcasses as silent witnesses to their once great existence. But what if I told you they might walk among us once more? What if the echoes of the past could be brought back to life through the marvels of modern science? Deep within the Siberian permafrost, scientists have unearthed remarkably well-preserved woolly mammoth remains, their DNA frozen in time, waiting to be unlocked. These icy tombs hold the genetic secrets to resurrecting these magnificent creatures, secrets that scientists are now beginning to unravel. The DNA extracted from these remains is like a time capsule, offering a glimpse into the genetic makeup of these ancient giants. At the forefront of this groundbreaking endeavor is Colossal Biosciences, a company pushing the boundaries of genetic engineering and aiming to achieve what was once thought impossible. Their ambitious goal is to use CRISPR technology, a revolutionary gene editing tool, to rewrite the DNA of Asian elephants, the closest living relatives of the woolly mammoth. CRISPR technology allows scientists to make precise changes to the genetic code, enabling them to insert key mammoth genes into the DNA of Asian elephants. By carefully splicing in key mammoth genes responsible for their shaggy coats, thick layers of insulating fat, and cold-adapted blood, scientists aim to create a hybrid creature, a mammophant, bearing the unmistakable traits of its extinct ancestor. This hybrid creature would not only look like a woolly mammoth, but also possess the unique adaptations that allowed these giants to thrive in the harsh, cold environments of the Ice Age. The process of genetic splicing is intricate and delicate, requiring a deep understanding of both mammoth and elephant genetics. Scientists must ensure that the inserted genes function correctly within the elephant's DNA, enabling the development of mammoth-like traits such as thick fur and cold-resistant blood. The result would be a mammophant, a creature that bridges the gap between the past and the present, embodying the legacy of the woolly mammoth. This hybrid would not only be a scientific marvel, but also a living testament to the power of genetic engineering and the potential to bring back extinct species. But the journey doesn't end there. Creating a mammophant is just the beginning of a long and complex process. Once created these mammoth embryos would be implanted into surrogate elephant mothers, carefully selected and monitored throughout the gestation period to ensure the health and viability of the developing mammophant. The surrogate mothers would play a crucial role in bringing these hybrids to life, providing the necessary environment for the embryos to grow and develop. If successful, the world could witness the birth of a woolly mammoth calf, a moment that would mark a new chapter in the story of life on Earth. This achievement would be a testament to the power of science to rewrite the past and shape the future, offering a glimpse of what is possible when human ingenuity meets the mysteries of nature. The implications of such an accomplishment are profound. Reintroducing mammoths to the Arctic tundra could help restore a lost ecosystem, potentially mitigating the effects of climate change and promoting biodiversity. These majestic creatures could play a vital role in maintaining the health of the Arctic environment, helping to preserve the delicate balance of nature. By trampling down snow and allowing cold air to penetrate the ground, mammoths could help prevent the thawing of permafrost, a key factor in combating climate change. It's a bold vision, a testament to human ingenuity, but one that also raises ethical questions about our responsibility to the natural world. As we stand on the brink of this new frontier, we must carefully consider the impact of our actions and the legacy we wish to leave for future generations. The resurrection of the woolly mammoth is not just a scientific endeavor, it is a profound exploration of our relationship with nature, our ability to shape the world around us, and our responsibility to protect and preserve the delicate balance of life on Earth. Imagine the skies of North America darkened by billions of birds, their presence so overwhelming that they would blot out the sun for hours. Their collective wings drumming a symphony of sound, creating a natural orchestra that could be heard for miles. 
This was the awe-inspiring spectacle of the passenger pigeon, a bird whose sheer numbers were once beyond comprehension. Once the most abundant bird on the continent, their flocks were so dense that they could stretch for miles. Sadly, their numbers plummeted to extinction within a single human lifetime, a result of relentless hunting and habitat destruction. This tragic loss serves as a stark reminder of our impact on the natural world, highlighting the delicate balance of ecosystems. But even in their absence, the passenger pigeon story is not over. Their legacy continues to inspire scientists and conservationists. Scientists believe that hidden within museum specimens, their DNA still holds the blueprint for their revival. This genetic material, preserved over the decades, offers a glimmer of hope for bringing back this lost species. Delicate work is underway to extract and sequence the genetic code from these preserved specimens, a process that requires precision and care. Piecing together the intricate puzzle of the passenger pigeon genome is no small feat, but the potential rewards are immense. The goal is to identify the key genes that made this bird so unique. Its remarkable ability to navigate vast distances, its social complexity, and its incredible reproductive capacity. These traits are essential for the survival and thriving of the species. Understanding these genetic markers will allow scientists to recreate the passenger pigeon's unique characteristics. Armed with this genetic knowledge, scientists aim to use closely related pigeon species as surrogates, carefully selecting those that can carry the passenger pigeon's genetic legacy. By precisely editing their DNA, introducing the genetic traits specific to the passenger pigeon, they hope to create a new generation of birds that echo their ancestors' legacy. Imagine the moment a newly hatched chick, carrying the legacy of the passenger pigeon, takes its first breath. This would be a monumental step in conservation science. It would be a powerful symbol of resurrection, a testament to human ingenuity and dedication to righting past wrongs, a beacon of hope for other extinct species awaiting their turn, showing that extinction doesn't have to be the end. The return of the passenger pigeon could have profound ecological implications, potentially restoring lost dynamics in their native habitats. As a keystone species, their presence once shaped the forests of North America, influencing the growth and health of these ecosystems. Their revival could help restore balance to these ecosystems, bringing back the natural order that was lost with their extinction. Demonstrating the potential for humans to right past wrongs, this project could pave the way for future conservation efforts. The story of the passenger pigeon is a powerful reminder of our responsibility to protect and preserve the natural world, ensuring that future generations can witness the wonders of biodiversity. Chapter 3, The Ghost of Tasmania. Can we bring back the Thylacine? In the island wilderness of Tasmania, a creature of both fascination and fear once roamed, the Thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian Tiger. This enigmatic marsupial, with its distinctive stripes and almost mythical status, was hunted to extinction within living memory. But the story of the Thylacine may not be over. Scientists believe that preserved specimens, carefully stored in museums and collections, hold the key to its potential resurrection. The challenge lies in extracting viable DNA from these aged samples. Time, exposure to the elements, and preservation techniques all degrade the delicate genetic material, making the task akin to piecing together a shattered mirror. However, advances in gene sequencing technology are bringing us closer than ever to unlocking the secrets held within the thylacine's genetic code. Once fully mapped, scientists envision using gene editing techniques to rewrite the DNA of closely related marsupials, such as the Dunart, guiding their evolution to resemble their extinct relative. It's a monumental task, fraught with complexities, but the potential reward to witness the thylacine prowling its native forest once more is a powerful motivator. The resurrection of the thylacine would be a powerful symbol of conservation, a reminder of the fragility of life and the responsibility we have to protect the natural world. Chapter 4. The Dodo's Second Chance. Rewinding Extinction on Mauritius. On the island of Mauritius, far from the prying eyes of the world, a peculiar bird once thrived, the dodo. This flightless bird with its large beak and stout body, was unlike any other. It roamed the dense forests and sandy shores of Mauritius, living a life of relative peace and abundance. Flightless, fearless, and seemingly oblivious to the dangers posed by newly arrived humans, the dodo became synonymous with extinction, a cautionary tale of ecological naivety. The arrival of sailors and invasive species spelled doom for the dodo, which had no natural predators and thus, no fear of humans. But even centuries after its disappearance, the dodo's story continues to fascinate. It has become a symbol of human-induced extinction, a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the impact of human activity on the natural world. Scientists believe that within museum collections, fragments of its DNA still linger, offering a tantalizing glimpse into its past. 
These precious genetic remnants are like pieces of a puzzle, waiting to be assembled to reveal the full picture of the dodo's existence. Extracting viable genetic material from these aged remains is a painstaking process, pushing the boundaries of scientific capability. It requires meticulous care and advanced technology to ensure that the DNA is not contaminated or degraded, but the potential rewards are enormous. Successfully decoding the dodo's genome could provide invaluable insights into its biology and the factors that led to its extinction. By piecing together the dodo's genome, we can unlock the secrets of its evolutionary history, its unique adaptations, and its relationship to other bird species. This knowledge could also inform conservation strategies for other endangered species. The ultimate goal is to use this genetic blueprint to resurrect the dodo. This ambitious endeavor known as de-extinction aims to bring back species that have been lost to history. By editing the DNA of closely related pigeon species, introducing the genetic traits specific to the dodo, scientists believe they can bring this iconic bird back from the brink. This process involves sophisticated techniques such as CRISPR and other gene editing tools. Imagine the moment a newly hatched dodo chick, its downy feathers still wet, takes its first clumsy steps on Mauritian soil. This moment would be a historic milestone, a blend of science fiction and reality. It would be a powerful symbol of redemption, a testament to the ingenuity of science and our capacity to correct past mistakes. The dodo's return would signify a new era of ecological restoration and hope. The return of the dodo would not only restore a lost piece of Mauritius's natural heritage, but also serve as a beacon of hope for other extinct species awaiting their second chance. It would inspire future generations to value and protect the biodiversity of our planet. Chapter 5, The Pyrenean Ibex, A Glimpse into De-Extinction's Future High in the rugged peaks of the Pyrenees Mountains, a story of both tragedy and hope played out. The Pyrenean Ibex, a magnificent wild goat, once thrived in these unforgiving landscapes, but hunting and habitat loss drove them to extinction, the last individual succumbing to the pressures of a changing world. However, the Pyrenean Ibex holds a unique place in the annals of de-extinction. In a groundbreaking scientific endeavor, researchers successfully cloned a Pyrenean Ibex using preserved DNA, marking the first time an extinct animal had been brought back to life. The excitement surrounding this achievement was palpable. A living, breathing Pyrenean ibex born from the ashes of extinction offered a glimpse into a future where the impossible seemed within reach. However, the triumph was short-lived. The cloned ibex survived for only a few minutes, succumbing to respiratory complications, a stark reminder of the complexities and ethical considerations surrounding de-extinction. Despite its tragic end, the story of the Pyrenean ibex is a powerful one. It serves as both a cautionary tale and a source of inspiration, highlighting the potential of science to reverse extinction while underscoring the ethical dilemmas and ecological challenges we must navigate. The Pyrenean Ibex reminds us that de-extinction is not a simple solution but rather a complex journey with profound implications for the future of life on Earth. Bringing back the dead is no longer science fiction, it's science fact. But the question is, should we? The power to resurrect extinct creatures comes with immense responsibility. Do we have the right to rewrite the past, to reshape the natural world according to our will? These are questions with no easy answers, questions that demand careful consideration and open dialogue. The future of extinction rests in our hands. Will we choose to be architects of a new dawn for lost species, or will we honor their memory by protecting the fragile web of life that exists today? Which extinct animal do you think should be revived first? Or should we let them stay gone forever? Tag a friend who needs to see this, comment your thoughts below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe now to Extinct Empire for more mind-blowing discoveries.